H. H. Maharaja Raj 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 Eshwa Sawai Shraman Yashwant Rao Holka Bahada, belonging to the Holka dynasty of the Marathas was the Maharaja of Indore allied to the Maratha Empire. He was born on 3 December 1776. He was a gifted military leader and educated in accountancy as well as literate in Persian and Marathi. Yashwant Rao has been often referred to as the Napoleon of India. In January 1799, Jashwant Rao Holkar was crowned king, as per Hindu Vedic rites and in May, 1799, he captured Ujjain. He started campaigning towards the north to expand his empire in that region. Yashwant Rao rebelled against the policies of the Peshwa Baji Rao II. In May 1802, he marched towards Pune the seat of the Peshwa. This gave rise to the Battle of Pune in which the Peshwa was defeated. After the defeat, the Peshwa fled from Pune. Conquering Pune resulted in Yashwant Rao Holka in charge of the administration and made some constructive steps to rebuild the Maratha Empire. To keep the British at bay, Jashwant Rao Holka played a great role in Indian history. He stood up against the British with his forces. Accompanied by Ragu G. Bunsail and Dawl at Sindhya, Maharaja Yashwant Rao Holkar on 4 June 1803 decided to fight against the British force after their meeting at Bodwade. However, after a conspiracy against him, he decided not to be a part of the Maratha Confederacy. To Kirk the power of British, Maharaja Yashwant Rao Holkar wrote letters to different rulers and welcomed them to get united and fight against the British power. But, all his plans and appeal went in vain, as all the kings had already signed treaties with the British. Afterwards, Jashwant Rao decided to fight against the British on his own. He defeated the British army, led by Colonel Fawcett, at Kunch, in Bundelkhand as well as attacked Delhi to free the Mughal Emperor Shah Alam II, who was imprisoned by the British and attacked the army of Colonel Octolani and Byrne. This battle lasted for a week, but Yashwant Rao Holkar could not succeed because Colonel Octolani was supported by Lord Lake. Yashwant Rao Holkar won the title of Maharaja Raj 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 Eshwar Aliya Bihada as a token of admiration by Mughal Emperor Shah Alam for his bravery. Afraid of the power and enthusiasm of Yashwant Rao Holkar, the British planned to make peace with Maharaja Yashwant Rao Holkar at any price as their wasting more time fighting Holkar could result in his success and create difficulty for British rule in India. Finally, Jashwant Rao Holkar signed a treaty with the British on 24 December 1805 at Rajgat. Yashwant Rao was known to be the only king in India whom the British approached to sign a peace treaty. Being admired as a sovereign king the British returned all his territory and accepted his dominion over Jaipur, Udaipur, Kota, Bundi and also affirmed not to interfere in matters relating to the Holkars. The victorious king reached Indore and started ruling his kingdom. Though Yashwant Rao Holkar again tried to unite the Maratha Confederacy and appeal to Dawla Treo Sindhya, but Sindhya gave the information about this letter to British resident Marsor. Holkars and Sindhyas agreed on 11 defensive and offensive strategies on 14 November 1807. To give his plan a success he decided to stay in Banpura to form a large army and manufacture cannons. With all his energies and military techniques, he was successful in keeping the British out of his state and started preparations to drive the British out of India. He gathered an army of 100,000 soldiers to attack Calcutta. However, on 27 October 1811 he died at the age of 35 years. Struggle for the throne Kashi Rao Holkar was not an able ruler, but Malha Rao Holkar had all the qualities of an able ruler and was also a military leader. Naturally, the people and the soldiers preferred Malha Rao, Milha Rao, Bhidoji Rao, and Yashwant Rao opposed Kashi Rao and demanded that Milha Rao should be the heir after Maharaja Tukoji Rao. Another reason was the courage, leadership, and bravery shown by Milha Rao in the Battle of Lakheri. 
where the whole cars were defeated by the well-trained modern army of Scindia under the command of Benoit de Boyne. He stood till the last soldier fell in the battlefield, and was wounded and fell unconscious there. Support was growing for Mulhareo, and Kashireo felt his authority was in danger, so he sought the help of the Sindhya, who were considered jealous of the Holkars, due to the growing prominence and rising power of Holkars in North India. This move angered the people, as during the siege of the Kumbha Fort in 1754, Sindhias had agreed to sign the treaty with Siraj Maljat even though Milharao's son Khandareo was killed during the siege. On 14 September 1797, Dalit Rao Sindhya suddenly attacked Milharao and killed him. He imprisoned Milharao's pregnant wife, Giabe, who gave birth to Kandarao Holka, and Bamabai Holka, daughter of Yashwantreo Holka. Nana Fadnorish condemned this, and so Peshwa Bajareo II, Sindhya, and Sarjara Ogat Ki imprisoned him. Yashwantreo Holka took shelter at Nagpur's Rago G2 Bonesala. When Sindhya learned this, he asked Rago G2 Bonesla to arrest Yashwantreo Holka. Accordingly, Yashwantreo Holka was arrested on 20 February 1798. Bhawani Shankakatri, who was with Yashwantreo, helped him to escape, and both of them escaped from Nagpur on 6 April 1798. Rise of Yashwantreo. After these incidents, Yashwantreo Holka never trusted anybody. Meanwhile, support for Yashwantreo Holka was growing. Vido Jireo Holka, Fat the Sin Main, Amir Khan, Bhawani Shankar Bakshi, Zunzar Naik, Govardhan Naik, Rana Basinha, Balaji Kamla Ka, Abay Sinha, Barmil Dada, Parashar Dada, Govind Palm Ganu, Hamit Sinha, Shamreo Mahadek, Jivaji Ashwant, Hanat Chela, Vazir Hussain, Shamat Khan. Gaffer Khan and Fatah Khan had joined the army of Yashwantreo Holka. The king of Dar, Inandreo Pawa, requested Yashwantreo Holka's help in curbing the rebellion of one of his ministers. Rang Nath, Holka successfully helped Anandreo Pawa. In December, 1798, Jashwantreo Holka defeated the army of Chevalier Dudress and captured Maheshwar. In January, 1799, he was crowned king, as per Hindu Vedic rites. In May, 1799, he captured Ujjain. Vido Jireo Holka declared that he was working for Amru Treo, who was more capable of being the Peshwa than Bajareo II. To grow their empire, Jashwan Treo Holka started a campaign towards the north, whereas Vido Jireo started a campaign towards the south. Bajareo II sent Balaji Kunjir and Bapureo Gokala to arrest Vido Jireo Holka, and in April, 1801, Vido Jireo was arrested and taken to Pune. On the advice of Balaji Kunjar, he was sentenced to death under the feet of an elephant. His wife and son Harirao were imprisoned. The well-wishers of the Maratha Confederacy warned the Peshwa not to take such a drastic step as it would lead to the collapse of the Maratha Confederacy, but Bajareo II Peshwa ignored it. When Maharaja Yashwantreo Holka learned this, he vowed to take revenge. Battle of Ujjain The Battle of Ujjain took place on 4 July 1801. Maharaja Yashwantreo Holka attacked Sindhya's capital Ujjain, and after defeating Sindhya's army led by John Hessing, extorted a large sum from its inhabitants, but did not ravage the town. In this war nearly 3,000 soldiers of Sindhya's army were killed. The whole car's victory was an embarrassing defeat for the Sindhya. Battle of Pune. In May 1802, Maharaja Yashwantreo Holka marched towards Pune. He kept on corresponding with the Peshwa, to whom he put forward the following propositions, which, if agreed to, would put an end to hostilities. He conquered Sendwa, Chalasgaon, Dulia, Malagaon, Parul, Ner, Ahmednagar, Rahuri, Nashik, Sinar, Dungargaon, Jamgaon, Farabar, Gardand. 
Pandarpur, Kirkham, Narayangao, Baramati, Purundar, Saswad, Mareshwar, Thalna, and Jajuri. On Sunday, 25 October 1802, on the festival of Diwali, Jashwan Treoholka defeated the combined armies of Sindhya and Peshwa at Hadapsair, near Pune. This battle of Pune took place at Gorpadi, Banwadi, and Hadapsair. Maharaja Yashwan Treoholka had ordered his army not to attack first and wait until 25 cannonballs were fired from other side, when 25 cannonballs were fired. Maharaja Yashwan Treoholka ordered his army to attack. As soon as he won the war, he ordered his army not to harm the civilians of Pune. When the Peshwa learned that he was defeated, fled from Pune via Parvati, Wadgaon, to Sinagard. Maharaja Yashwan Treoholka asked the Peshwa to return to Pune. If Maharaja Yashwan Treoholka wanted to arrest the Peshwa, he would have arrested him, but he sent food to Peshwa so that he didn't suffer. On 27 October 1802, Peshwa Bajareo II, along with Chimlaji, Balo, and Kunjir along with some soldiers of Sindhya, went to Raygad and spent one month in Verwadi. He then went to Suwanada and on 1 December 1802 went to Bassane via a ship named Harkuyan. The British offered him enticements to sign the subsidiary treaty in return for the throne. After deliberating for over a month, and after threats that his brother would otherwise be recognized as Peshwa, Bajareo II signed the treaty, surrendering his residual sovereignty and allowing the English to put him on the throne at Pune. This treaty of Bassane was signed on 31 December 1802. The British also had to check the French influence in India. The British government feared that if they had not adopted measures for the restoration of the Peshwa's authority, Yashwan Treoholka would have either attacked the company's territories or those of their ally the Nizam of Hyderabad. They felt therefore the restoration of the Peshwa under the protection of the British power was a measure indispensably requisite for the defence not only of the territories of their allies, but of their own possessions bordering on the Mahatta dominions in the peninsula of India. Pans, Purandere, and some other Maratha Siddhas had requested the Peshwa to return to Pune and have a dialogue with the Holkars. Even Chimunaji was against signing a treaty with British. Peshwa. The flight of Peshwa left the government of Maratha state in the hands of Yashwan Treoholka. After conquering Pune, the capital of Maratha Empire, Yashwan Treoholka took the administration in his hands and appointed his men. He appointed Amru Treo as the Peshwa. All except Gakwa chief of Baroda, who had already accepted British protection by a separate treaty on 26 July 1802, supported the new regime. He freed Fadnoish, Maroba, Fadka, etc., who were imprisoned by Bajareo II and went to Indore on 13 March 1803. The British reinstated Bajareo II as the Peshwa at Pune on 13 May 1803. But soon the Peshwa realized that he was only a nominal Peshwa and that British had taken total control. Maratha British Treaties on 4 June 1803, Raguji Bosali, Dola Treo Sindhya, and Maharaja Yashwan Treo Holka met at Bodwade and decided to jointly fight against the British. However, the just demands of Yashwan Treo Holka were not fulfilled, and he was betrayed again. Dola Treo Sindhya wrote a letter to Bajareo II and stated that they need not worry about Yashwan Treo Holka as they only should show that they would fulfill the demands of Yashwan Treo Holka, and once they defeat the British, they will take their revenge against Holka. However, the letter reached the hands of Amru Treo, and he handed the letter over to General Wellesley. Wellesley immediately sent the letter to Maharaja Yashwan Treo Holka. Maharaja Yashwan Treo Holka decided not to be a part of Maratha Confederacy. 
On 17 December 1803, Ragu Jibun sailed to of Nagpur signed the Treaty of Diogaon with the British after the Battle of Laswari and gave up the province of Cuttack including Balasore. On 30 December 1803, the Sindhya signed the Treaty of Surja and Jang Ao with the British after the Battle of Vasse and ceded to the British Ganges Jumna Duab, the Delhi Agra region, parts of Bundelkhand, Broch, some districts of Gujarat, Fort of Almadnagar. Gakwade of Baroda had already signed a treaty on 29 July 1802. This was 34-year-old Wellesley's first major success, and one that he always held in the highest estimation, even when compared to his later triumphant career. According to anecdotal evidence, in his retirement years, Wellington considered the Battle of Assay his finest battle, surpassing even his victory at the Battle of Waterloo. On 20 December 1803, General Wellesley, in one of his letters, stated that it was necessary to kirk the rising power of Yashwan Treo Holka as he was brave, courageous, and ambitious. Yashwan Treo's success and anxiety in British camp Maharaja Yashwan Treo Holka wrote letters to different kings to unite and fight against the British. He stated, first country, and then religion. We will have to rise above caste religion, and our states in the interest of our country. You too must wage a war against the British, like me, his appeal fell on deaf ears, as all of them had already signed treaties with the British, in a letter dated 15 February 1806 to Vyanko G. Bosoli of Nagpur, he states, On 4 April, Lake forwarded some intercepted correspondence of Holkar, which he was said to have been carrying on with the other Indian chiefs of Hindustan to forge an alliance against the British. Lord Wellesley needed no fresh argument to justify his war against Holker. In a letter to General Wellesley he demanded 1. That the right of Holker to collect the tribute, as old, should be recognized. 2. That the ancestral claims of the Holker family in the Duab, and the right to one Pargana in Bundelkhand, should be recognized. 3. That the country of Haryana, which formerly belonged to Holker, should be surrendered. And 4. That the country now in Holkar's possession should be guaranteed and stated. Although unable to oppose your artillery in the field, countries of many hundred miles in extent will be overrun and plundered. British shall not have leisure to breathe for a moment, and calamities will fall on the backs of human beings in continual war by the attacks of my army, which overwhelms like the waves of the sea. When agents of General Perrin visited him with a message, Jaswan Treo pointed to his horse and spear, and directed the men to tell their master that the former at all times afforded him a shade to sleep in and the latter means of subsistence and that he carried his kingdom on the saddle of his horse and the dominion of the saddle was still formidable. In letter dated 4 March 1804 to Lake he told, My country and property are upon the saddle of my horse, and please God, to whatever side the reins of the horses of my brave warriors shall be turned. The whole of the country in that direction shall come into my possession. As you are wise and provident, you will consider the consequences of this affair, and employ yourself in settling the important matters which will be explained by my agents. Maharaja Yashwan Treo Holka defeated the British army, led by Colonel Fawcett, at Kunch, in Budlagand. On 8 June 1804, the Governor-General, in a letter to General Gerard Lake, wrote that the defeat caused a great insult. This would endanger the company rule in India, and hence Yashwan Treo Holka should be defeated as soon as possible. On 8 July 1804, Maharaja Yashwan Treo Holka defeated the army of Colonel Manson and Lukin at Mukandari and Kota. Bapuji Sindhya surrendered before Maharaja Yashwan Treo Holka. From June till September 1804, he defeated the British at different battles. On 8 October 1804, Maharaja Yashwan Treo Holka attacked Delhi to free Mughal Emperor Shah Alam II, who was imprisoned by the British. 
He attacked the army of Colonel Actiloni in Bern. The battle lasted for a week, but Yashwan Treo Holker could not succeed as General Lake came to help Colonel Actiloni. Assessing the situation, he changed the plan and postponed it. Admiring his bravery, Mughal Emperor Shah Alam gave him the title of Maharaja Daraj Raj Rajeshwar Ali Bahada. Colonel Marion Wallace captured Indore and Udain on 8 July 1804. On 22 August 1804, Wellesley marched against Holka from Pune, along with Bajareo Peshwar's army. In Mathura Maharaja, Yashwan Treo Holka learned that the British had captured some of his territory, he decided to stay in Mathura and work out a strategy to regain his territory. In a letter dated the 11th of September 1804 written to Lord Lake, Wellesley said that if Yashwan Treo Holka was not defeated at the earliest, the rest of the kings of India may unitedly stand against the British. On 16 November 1804, Maharaja Yashwan Treo Holka reached Steeg by defeating the army of Major Fraser. After the death of Major Fraser, Manson took the charge of the British army. The Jack King Ranjit Singh of Bharatpur welcomed him and decided to be with Maharaja Yashwan Treo Holka against the British. In Farukabad, Lord Lake was a mute spectator. Watching Yashwan Treo Holka proceeding towards Deeg, he didn't dare attack Maharaja Yashwan Treo Holka. The Governor-General was disappointed by this condicate of Lord Lake, and he wrote to him about his disappointment. Battle of Bharatpur. Lord Lake attacked Deeg on 13 December 1804 whereupon the army of Holka and Jat successfully resisted and reached Bharatpur. Lord Lake attacked on 3 January 1805, along with General Manson, Colonel Merry, Colonel Don, Colonel Byrne, Major General Jones, General Smith, Colonel Jetland, Seton, and others. The subsequent siege of Bharatpur lasted for three months and was compared with the wall described in the epic Mahabharata. Many poems on this war were written, praising Maharaja Yashwan Treo Holka. To keep the Indian kings divided, the British declared that they would distribute the territory of Holkars amongst its Indian friends. Maharaja Yashwan Treo Holka had become well known throughout India due to his bravery, however, Amir Khan and Bhawani Shankar Khatri betrayed him. The British gave the Jahagir of Tong to Amir Khan Pandari, and a Mahal and a Jahagir in Delhi were given to Bhawani Shankar Khatri. Bhawani Shankar Khatri's Hawley, situated in Delhi, is even today referred to as Namak Haram Ki Hawley. Dawla Treo Sindhya decided to help Holka, but was prevented from doing so by the ill advice of Kamal Nayan Munshi. Sir P. E. Robert states that surprisingly, the Jat King Ranjit Singh signed a treaty with the British on 17 April 1805 when they had nearly won the war. Due to this, Maharaja Yashwan Treo Holka had to leave Bharatpur. The failure of General Lake to conquer the fort of Bharatpur shattered the myth of invincibility of British arms and raised the fears about the revival of Maratha Confederacy against Wellesley's wars of aggression in India. This came as an anticlimax to Lord Wellesley's forward policy. The British Prime Minister was therefore constrained to retort that the Marquis had acted most imprudently and illegally, and that he could not be suffered to remain in the government. Thus Wellesley was recalled.